right, tonight, clear, widespread frost. And let's give you an idea of the temperatures you'll face early tomorrow morning. A lot of 20s showing up, and Boston will be close to the freezing mark at that particular time. Tomorrow, though, we will have a decent temperature recovery. It'll feel okay late morning and afternoon after that frosty start. We could top off pretty close to 50 degrees tomorrow on average, maybe even low 50s to the south and upper 40s to the north and west. All right, now changes are going to occur after that. It's chilly, so no big warm-ups, but we're talking about colder weather with wind. We don't have the wind right now, but we're going to add wind to the equation when this chunk of cold air moves in, driven by the jet stream arriving during Friday. Friday night and Saturday morning will feel like you're right in the depths of winter during that period of time. This Arctic front comes through prior to dawn on Friday, maybe a scattered shower overnight, then it will clear, but it will be very windy and temperatures will be hard pressed to rise at all during the day on Friday. Now, Saturday morning's record low in Boston is 24. I'm going for 22 right now. If that happens, we'll have a new record. Worcester's record is 14. I think it's going to be pretty close. These are the wind chills to expect Saturday morning. Single digits and teens with the air temperature in the teens and 20s. That'll be a little bit better Saturday afternoon. Winds will lessen some and the temperature, of course, will recover toward 40, so it'll feel better out of doors. So that's what we're dealing with over the next three days. That frosty start for tomorrow. Friday, remember, the temperature will actually be steady and then fall. And the real thing I want to talk about one more time is those wind chills on Saturday. I know we're showing it twice, but when you have single digits and teens this early, that's something to certainly point out. All right, Saturday night will also be quite cold, but without wind. And Sunday will moderate in the afternoon to about 50 degrees. Something's likely to happen developing Monday or Monday night and lasting into Tuesday. Most likely a chilly rain moving in at that time. And by the way, the pattern looks like it will stay for the most part below average in temperature for, I'd say, the next seven to 10 days at least. All right, we've had a party with all those 70s through October <coughs> and into early November. Got to pay the price a little bit now. Back. To